All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we're just going to do a little short video uh, about being a pillion passenger. Uh, in all fairness, I've not seen that many videos out there, so I'm just going to give you an idea of how to get on and off the bike. And just a little review to BMW's GS1250 Adventure, Graham's very own. Uh, I'll give you my opinion of what it's like on the back. All right, so first of all, before you mount the bike, you check with the rider. Am I good to get on, Graham? You're good, you're good you, to go. You wait for the reply. When he's secure, left foot onto the peg, one hand on the shoulder, one hand on the back case if you've got one, and throw your leg over. Then let your rider know that you're safe and good to go. I'm okay, Graham. And the rest is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Now one of the keys to being a pillion passenger as well is not to try and fight it. You just go with the bike. Don't try and sit up when you're going around a corner. Just relax and then you're not fighting against your rider. If you try and sit up mid-corner, that could cause a whole world of pain. Okay, oh. boys, we're going now. All right, let's go. Now, the first thing that springs to mind from being a passenger on this GSA 1250 is how unbelievably comfortable it is. I'm five foot eight. I've got a 32 inch inside leg and from a, a seating point of view the seat feels really wide, firm but not uncomfortably hard and the position that I'm sat in with my legs and my knees are kind of at a nice relaxed angle. The foot pegs really wide, very supportive, there's a lot of uh, real estate there to get your feet on and feel comfortable. So first impressions, at low speeds, it's good, it's, not, it's a good place to be. From your point of view, Graham, what's it like having a pillion passenger? Can you yeah. feel a noticeable difference? Yeah, you can feel somebody on it, you know somebody's there. But at the end of the day, it, once you're on the, uh, the wire, you, once you're going, it's, it's totally, absolutely effortless. It's the he like you know the engine is so strong there. Um, yeah, you you know somebody's on the back, but it's not an issue. It's not an issue. Would you say it feels different when you've got a passenger on versus if you're just on your own with luggage? Uh, yes, you, you've got that. You have got that extra weight, and you know you have got that extra weight on, but. It, it's like anything else, the bike can cope with it. Mm. And as long as you're aware and right to that standard of you have got somebody on there, then there's not an issue. Yeah. I have to say as well, from a, a passenger point of view, the quick shifter does make a, a big difference in so far as negating that helmet clash. Yeah, you you haven't got the bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what sort of speed are we doing now? Are we up to normal motorway speeds? Right. So basically now we're doing 70 mile an hour. We've got the cruise on. Um, I'm feeling no buffeting at all, and that is purely down to this MRA screen extension. Yeah. Um, and it's just a nice place to be. Really, is a nice place to be. Do you have any of that sort of vortex effect where the wind's getting pushed over your head and then pushing against your back and sucking you forwards? No, I'm getting nothing. Basically, even when I come up there, I'm getting very little. And to say, these aero um, adventure helmets, the uh, Commando, yeah. absolute, I love it, absolutely. You're getting no buffeting, you don't get no... Like, 
I've got um, a couple of shoey helmets and the car is called shoey air and I know why they call it a shoey air because all the air rushes through the helmet yeah this this at a fraction of the price 200 quid less is 10 times better the helmet it's absolutely stunning is this helmet and well, I can't shout go. it out and I've seen it and I've seen other reviews and people are slating this helmet and I don't know why I really really don't know why they're slating that helmet do you think there's an element of bad snobbery? Possibly. You do get that in okay. people. Um, but, you know, this can stand with the rest. The, the peripheral view, you've got, you know, I'm looking here now. I'm looking out this way. Sort of like, it, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal helmet. Really is, for the money. It's interesting what you say about the, the sort of wind, uh, the, the, the clear air, if you like, because you're... You're considerably taller than I am, aren't you? You're six foot one? Yes. Uh, so, for somebody of your height to uh, say how clear that air is, yes, I know you've got the MRA um, extra deflector on top of it, but that that is just a, a given of as to how good the aerodynamics are, aren't they? It's a, yeah, true, yeah. that is true. But like I say, once I stand up, you know, my head's not going back and forth. It's yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. rock steady. Yeah. I can't say it's the best view in the world when you stand up, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> so from my point of view, what I've got is clean air as well. You know, I kind of expected the wind that's coming off your helmet to slightly give me some buffeting on mine, but there's none of that. So going back to this helmet to the rear how this helmet is now designed yeah with the spoiler do you think that's something to do with it do you think that's calming the air coming off the helmet well i certainly think it's been put there for a for a reason you do get the you do get the feeling that technology has advanced so much that most helmet designers most helmet makers will have some form of wind tunnel testing wasn't they yeah, um, yeah. Apart from anything else, it, yeah, it does look good, but obviously from your point of view, it, something seems to be working, doesn't it? Absolutely. Because I remember yeah. back in the day, 20 years ago, when I got my first Arai helmet, and I was riding a VFR 800 at the time, and at motorway speeds, I, I, it was like I was getting, I was in a ring with Mike Tyson, I was getting punched. Yeah. A lot of uh, movement. But with the... Uh, with the one that I've got on at the moment, which is the HJC RP HA70, which is designed as a sports touring helmet, I find it incredibly stable as a pillion passenger and also as a rider. But what's interesting as well is because you are, I mean, yeah, you're, you've got broad shoulders like I have, but you're providing an excellent wind barrier, you're, you're kind of like my windscreen at the top but also at the bottom I'm not getting any kind of blast from the wind and I suspect that's probably because of the, the amount of protection that's in front of you Yeah, so that's where I'm going, with the, the GSA, everybody to their own I do like this bulkiness of the tank basically I'm not 4 foot 3 so I am sort of like I've got a decent stature on me, so I do yeah. need some sort of protection. The GS didn't cut for me. I, I, I road tested the GS, and it, you know, it didn't suit me, and it didn't. But this just gives you all the protection. It gives you the protection here. You know, I'm feeling nothing, nothing at all whatsoever. Um, you've got the engine for low down protection, and you've got the screen. You've got these little pieces here, and it all works, it all protects, and I was going to say it again, it's a cracking place to be, absolutely cracking place to be. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not a bad place back here as well. Um, in all honesty folks, this is genuinely the first time I've been a pillion passenger. Well uh, it is, that's true, and tell them why it's, going to be, it's the first time you've uh, been a pillion. <laughs> Because, because I've been chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Why are you on the back of this now? Why? Um, I'm crossing over to the dark side, ladies and gents. 
we so basically, are. <laughs> so basically, we have got another brother from another mother. <laughs> yeah, we're on our way to pick up my brand new, not a brand new, but my brand new BMW R1200 GSA. So it's the uh, predecessor. In, in effect, it's, it's your bike's daddy. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Not, it could be a big brother, it could be, but it's, it's daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Your baby's going home to see his daddy. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, from a, from a pillion point of view, I, I, I must admit, I did have some uh, preconceived ideas that this wasn't going to be uh, the most enjoyable ride in the world. I, I expected, or half expected at least, to have quite a bit of buffeting. Uh, I didn't expect to be comfortable and bearing in mind this is going to be what a two and a half hour journey for us all told. Yes, yeah, yeah. It is. With, a, with a couple of stops obviously because we're not in any rush but um, so what we've done is we've done sort of an hour's ride roughly and had a break to stretch the legs and a coffee and then rode a little bit more and that's doable you could do that that's partly what we do on, on when we're on tour as well isn't it we'll, yeah we'll there's no point us. killing it there's no point yeah. killing that is it you you do an hour hour and a half and yeah. then just yeah but the whole point about touring is that the journey is the holiday isn't it absolutely yeah, yeah. there's no point killing it yeah so um anyway to cut a long story short it's it's blown away my preconceived ideas of, of what it would be like to be a, a pillion passenger on this. Um, I think what I would say is if anybody is going to take uh, a, a pillion on tour with them, a passenger on tour with them, um, I'd highly recommend getting a, a top box for lots and lots of reasons. Obviously you've got the luggage space but predominantly from a, a passenger point of view it makes you feel safer because you've got back support. So at no point do you ever feel like you're going to get thrown off the bike if there was a you know a bit of heavy acceleration um, but obviously it depends how intimate you are with your uh, your rider um, all right uh, listen I hope that's been of some sort of insight and uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up if you didn't like the video we're not interested <laughs> but if you've got any comments if you've got any advice for riding with a pillion or as a pillion Please feel free, leave them in the comments below and then we can share some knowledge. Alright, uh, right safe brothers and sisters, until the next time, I've been Stuart. And I've been Graham. <laughs> See you on the next one. Ta-ra! Bye-bye. But don't forget Stuart to tell them if they are doing pillion, they must check their insurance because you may not be insured to do so. You're always better Stuart, you are, because you just don't ever, ever know if we're out and one of us have to get on back as you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Just the reverse. Are you, are you okay for me to get yeah. off Graham? Okay Paul. Alright. Have on the shoulders, one hand on the back, swing your leg over. Good, simple as that. Thank you very much. <laughs>